what is the load balancer and particular network load balancer. In the previous video, we have seen uh, how the application load balancer works. So application load balancer work based upon the context. So as we had seen in the last video, we had the context for the debit card and credit card and we set up the path accordingly. In this video, we will divert the request depends upon the TCP port number. So the network load balancer work on the TCP layer, layer number uh, in the network stack and we set the two listener. So if any request come for AT, it should go to this target group. And if any request come AT, AT, that should go in this uh, target group. So to make the simplicity of this POC, we make two um, EC2 instance, one for the debit card transaction processing, one for the debit card uh, credit card uh, transaction processing. And we create the two target group, target group one for the debit card and target group two for the credit card. We can keep many server in the one target group just for the simplicity we make it. So to compute this demo, uh, it is required to have the two EC2 instance, two target group, one network load balancer and update the network load balancer listener. So let us start. Of, uh, go to the AWS and come to the services, come to EC2 and create one instance. One by one we create the two instance. I don't have an instance right now. Go here, take the simplicity, uh, free, free tier, configuration. And here to make the identification, we are just putting one code. That is nothing, uh, just to create two five, one is the index and one is the db.html and give one just message to identification. And we install the application server and start the application server. That's it. Now go to here and paste it. And let me tell you one thing, this should work on the AT port and this should work on the AT AT, okay? So keep in mind, then we can configure our EC2. Add tag, we give one name to identification, so we can say David server. And security group, we have to add for AT AT, right? So you go, and push, put the custom and it should be the 80. Okay, and you can take the HTML also. So if you want to, because HTML by default, if you work on the HT, uh, 80 port, that's also okay. So, and now the launch it. And you can use the, create the new key pair or you can use the existing one. Now go and create one more instance for the debit credit card. And in this case, we will copy for the credit card. Same information, just make for identification. We use the credit here, index HTML and the credit HTML, right? I will share this detail so it will be helpful for you doing the same demo. Tag, just give the name, uh, credit server. Now, thing is that, we have to add the AT AT port, right? So if you add the HTTP AT, it will not solve my problem. I should have the AT AT port, right? So we can add the AT AT. Go to the custom and put the AT AT. This is my uh, design architecture, right? So if you see again, this credit card should be invoked by the TCP AT AT. So that's why to invoke that we should have that uh, inbound security for the AT should be open. Now launch it, use the existing key. Now we have two instance, means in this, according to in this, uh, according to this diagram, I have made these two, but it will check its work or not. <clears throat> so now go the debit one and copy. 
I'll copy the DSN, open one tab and check this. So this is the debit card processing uh, first server. It is working fine, right? So debit card is working on the 80. Even you can, 80 is the, by default put is working on the 80. It should not supposed to work on the 80, 80 right? As per the design. And it is perfect, you know, it is not working. It is not going to there. Now check the debit uh, credit one. Copy the DSN. Open new tab. Put 80, 80. It is not working, but if you see, uh, it is working on 80. So debit credit card, right? But this should not work on the 80. The credit should work on 80, 80. So what you have to do, you have to go and change the application server HTTP D from 80 to 80, 80. So how you will do that? Go the credit card, action, connect. We have to uh, connect the, that machine, EC2 machines, right? To change those things. Copy this path. And here, if you see, I have kept my key. Okay. So that's why I just copy that command. It will connect now. So now I am in the EC2 instance. Actually, we I, I am inside this machine, this machine, and connect with admin. Go to EC2 httpd conf, and here we have one httpd conf. Check the 80. Here is the 80. This 80 we have to change into the 80, 80. I change it. Save it. Now you have to restart the machine. Okay, so service D. Now copy this path. Open new one. It should not work because this is the 80, it takes the by default 80 port. Now if you do the 80, 80, it is working, it should work. So credit card. So now we have done this part. Now let us create the target group, okay. So come here, you go to the load balancing, target group, create target group, give the name, TG1 or TG David, anything. And see, this is the network load balancer. So you have to choose the protocol TCP. And debit should be 80 and the credit should be 80, 80. So this is the debit target group. So I took the 80. And just next. And here take the debit and put into the target group. As you have already seen in the previous video. Of Create new next one more TG group for credit card transaction. We have to change the protocol. Be careful if you not change, it will not visible in the network load balancer. So make the TC and it should be the 8080, right? As per our diagram. Now we here and take the credit card and put into encode here done next now we have to go to the load balancer create new load balancer this in the previous video we had taken the application load balancer in this we are going to take the network load balancer create it give any name bank network load balancer here is the TCP 80, let it be there, we will add one letter and click all the zones here, available zones, configure, configure routing. Now if you, no need to create the target group because we have already created existing target group and we can change, check uh, 
take the debit one okay this is the 80 put it with there as per diagram it is okay review and create now close it so if you go the listener we have add tcp80 for the debit right so in this diagram tcp80 debit now we have to add this listener right 80 80 so go add listener and it is saying it is already consumed anyhow i'm not going to take the 80 i'm going to take the 80 80 and it should forward to the credit right as per our diagram and save it we are about to done now and we are done now if you see it is showing the provisioning here right so just we have to wait uh, till uh, we will get the con complete configured server load balancer so we have to wait for that Now you can see this is the active state, right? So now copy the DSN, open one new tab and go here and give the port 80. So now debit card should come. Now give the port 80, 80. This time credit card should come. Now you can see the uh, credit card come. So, uh, between check again, if you give the 80, then uh, debit card, and if you give the 80, 80, then the credit card. So, this is the way it uh, works, but now if you want to delete this thing, so if you go here, the load balancer, and if you want to delete the target group, you can't do it. Uh, if you go action, it, is, it will say no, you can't, because this both has been used in the load balancer. So first you have to delete the load balancer. Then you go the target, then only you can delete the target. Right. And now you can go the dashboard here. You can select and terminate. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe to this channel to get many more videos on the AWS. Thank you.